Hello and welcome to another video with me, Winner Andrew, to another video of Weekly Andrew, in which this week I think I actually have more animes to talk about, though I don't have much to say about the ones that I do, but still, yeah. Also, didn't actually get around to doing any age games this week, mainly just due to the fact that I kind of just forgot to play Corrupted Kingdoms like I was planning on. So, yeah, don't actually have any age games I'm going to be talking about this week. But I did get some other, do some other stuff as well, but yeah. Let's just go ahead and get straight into talking about anime, I guess. Starting off with Legend of Mana, which... It's an adaption in all, of an old 1999 game, apparently. In which, I'm honestly not very interested in it, and... Out of all the anime airing this season, this is the one that I'm most likely to drop, to be honest. Though one thing I will say is kind of nice about it, I think, is the fact that just the designs and everything for it actually look like they're from an old game from back then. And also, just in general when it comes to this game, I'm pretty sure it's the only people that will actually really enjoy it. And Everything are probably just people that have actually played the game back then. Because of a nostalgia feeling, and that's the only thing that I think this anime probably has going for it. And since I don't actually have that, considering the game is older than me... Yeah, I'm not really enjoying it very much, so... Yeah. Moving on to the next thing, Raven of the Inner Palace, in which, so far, I would say it is somewhat interesting. Though it hasn't got me invested into a story or anything yet, considering every episode has kind of been its own thing, mostly so far. With an exception of like the first two, I think, which were kind of just one kind of character. First episode carried over to the second one, and then every episode after that so far has kind of been its own individual things, and we don't really see any kind of overall story going on, I think. So far, at least, with the four episodes we currently have. And honestly, I think one of my biggest complaints overall with it, to be honest, is just subtitles. Considering, of course, characters speaking Japanese and everything. Because Japanese voice actors there and everything there. They're using the Japanese name for all the characters. Meanwhile, the subtitles are using the Chinese names. Because this story is set in China, so for some reason the subtitles are using the Jap Chinese name while the Japanese names are the ones actually being used. Which makes it a bit confusing when it comes to who is who, but you'll figure it out after a bit, I guess. And also, I kind of think that uh, this probably has the worst opening and maybe also ending of the season, I think. At the very least, with the anime that I'm watching, considering, yeah, the opening, I think I can easily say is the worst. Out of everything I'm watching, I don't really remember the ending that, that much, so it might not be but it could be. So, yeah. Despite it being a bit interesting, it's not doing very well, I think. But yeah, that's all I had to say for that. So, moving on to Shadow Garden. In which, yeah, this whole thing here is more or less just... The plot itself is kind of, so far, just seems that Sid made up a story, which just turns out to be true, though he doesn't actually realize it. And he thinks all the cult members are just bandits or stuff. So far, that's what it kind of seems like. But, yeah, first two episodes kind of seemed, felt a bit disconnected and stuff, I guess. Considering, apparently, the first episode was the beginning of Volume 4, and then Episode 2 is beginning of Volume 1. So, yeah, kind of just jumped around a bit there before I actually started going in chronological order, I guess. But, uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm kind of enjoying it. 
it has quite a few characters that we have absolutely no idea who they exactly are. Considering all the time jumps and everything, they were never actually introduced, but they're there. So, yeah. I honestly don't really know what else to say about this. Humor at the beginning, I don't think, was probably that good, considering we didn't really have much context and stuff, I guess. But I think it's probably improving. Also, this whole thing is kind of a bit edgy overall, I'm pretty sure. I'm not exactly sure on that stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's all the anime I have to talk about for this week. Just a three. So, moving on, I guess. I guess I'll just go ahead and briefly mention Lessons of Love, considering I was thinking I'd be able to do it this week. Considering I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be released. Two weeks ago, maybe, I'm not exactly sure. But, yeah. I was originally thinking that the public version for the next update would have been out this week or something, but no, that's apparently going to be two weeks from now. Or one week now, I guess. So, next week I should be able to do it, I guess. Though it's going to be on a Thursday that's released. So, two weeks, I guess before I actually cover it in this. So, yeah. I think there may have been a bit of a delay in the update when it was going to get released, considering the Halloween Dorm Wars update is apparently now going to be released on the 1st of December, when I'm pretty sure that was going to be released a week earlier, originally going by the up the road map, I guess, that Sabbath uh, 3 put out for updates and everything, but yeah, apparently I should be able to do that sometime next, about in a week, so yeah, that'll be nice, considering 26 parts 3, and then after that it's the month wait until Halloween and Dorm Wars, and then another month wait for Christmas. So, yeah, I got that stuff done, then to one other thing I actually got, kind of did this week, I guess, which was trying out RL Craft. Doing that mod for Minecraft and everything there. It was kind of the first time I was really playing it, and I spent like four hours or something on there. But, yeah. Kind of just going to sum up my experience in those four hours, for the most part. Majority of this is just the first hour, though. So, yeah, I, of course, spawned in water initially. After swimming up and everything and started going around, I ended up seeing a dragon, or the, ended up seeing a dragon, ran the fuck away from it, and I just went around, got some sticks, and it got, and then we, I ended up getting to night time, I started dying of hypothermia, started running around, hoping that possibly running around would actually kind of keep me warm or something. And then I kind of ended up wandering over to a satyrin, apparently, just as a sea serpent started attacking me and killed me. Yeah, that was my first day on there. So, more or less, I basically died of... Hypothermia, Saturn, and Sea Serpent all at the same time, basically. Yeah, and that's the first day. Respawn, of course, still middle of the night. See a uh, lava lake over on the other side of water, does that there. Go over there to stay, keep warm for the rest of the night. Once it got to morning, I managed to go around, get everything needed to actually create a flint knife, and at that point I didn't actually know what else to do, considering that's all I had really learned how to do before playing. So at that point I didn't know how to get wood or anything, so I just continued to wandering around for the rest of the day. Once it got dark, I kind of just saw oh, what, a castle off in the distance, which was actually just a walled city, I think, and kind of just thought, I wonder if they'll let me in and stay for the night. So I just went over there, walked around the walls, went in the front door, and then started searching the entire place for beds. Cause, yeah, I think I might 
went through the majority of the buildings before I actually found the one and only building in the entire place that actually had any beds. Which was kind of somewhat close to the entrance, I think. But yeah, at that point, I kind of just declared myself a king of the place, considering there is no real leadership or anything like that. You know, so while I was searching that little city there, I end up finding an iron axe I can't actually use until I get my gathering skill leveled up more. And also leather shirt pants stuff as well, and also a lollipop, which is apparently my best weapon currently, I guess. And slightly better than the flint and knife I have. Plus, I'm not actually having any durability, which is kind of nice to be honest. I just need to make sure I don't actually eat the lollipop on accident. Yeah, but at that point I kind of just declare the spent in like another three hour or something. I'm pretty sure that all that was like the first hour at least. So the next three hours I spent playing was relatively peaceful, which was quite surprising. Considering the only interruptions I actually really had was when I was shopping trees, mining coal, and killing cows. And that's it. And, only, and out of all of that, I only had like one or two close calls where I nearly died again. In which one of them was some kind of tree int or something. Which I don't think actually did hit me at all. So that may have been a close call considering I don't know exactly how hard that thing hit. And then another elemental thing that showed up while I was trying to get some kill some cows so I could get experience. So I could level skills up. So yeah, that thing nearly killed me. But yeah. I spent four hours playing RL Craft and only died once. I think I'm playing RL Craft wrong, considering I'm pretty sure you're supposed to die a lot. Yeah. For some reason, I think I really do think I'm kind of playing RL Craft wrong. Though, to be honest, I'm pretty sure the main reason why I kind of survived this entire time after finding that city is just the fact that every single time I actually ran into any monsters, I just started running home. And kind of just running to the elemental so they'll try and protect me. Basically just going, running home to dad. And just going, dad, the main monsters are hurting me. Or something like that. And then going to the nymphs for they, so they can heal me. So yeah, pair, for me at the moment, I kind of guess the elemental nymphs in the cities are kind of my parents or something. <laughs> And they're the main reason why I'm actually able to survive, considering I still don't have any clean drinking water, considering I don't know exactly how to actually clean the water yet, so, yeah. Every now and then I end up getting some parasites from drinking water, and I have to go to the nymphs for healing and everything. But, yeah, that's so far my entire experience for RL Craft, and the main reason why I even started is because Nags finally doing his Endurance Week of RL Craft. Though, I don't think we actually have a goal for that thing yet, considering it's apparently going to be decided that day that it starts or something and he'll also have his chats eh, participate as well so maybe I'll do do something as well and participate in chat and everything there considering he has a week and chat has a month to accomplish the goal apparently you know and we have to be in groups or something so maybe I'll do it I'm not exactly sure I could, I guess, considering I seem to be doing pretty well myself currently, so maybe. I just don't know exactly considering I don't know what the goals are or anything. But yeah, I guess that's more or less everything that happened this week. Nina Kuni, I still need to get to that. I'm in the Witch's Woods at the per moment, kind of just grinding away there, considering I've actually grinding my way through the burning deserts and getting everything it could really get there. Seriously, I've done that much grinding that I've gone through an entire area already. Well, I'm still in the 
have to move forwards in a glittering grotto for the story because I haven't gotten around to doing a fucking stream in months. So, yeah, I definitely need to do a fucking stream. I want to play all our stuff. I think if I'm going to continue RL craft, I want to do it on stream. So, yeah. But I guess at that point, this is the end of this video. Considering I don't text, I have anything else to talk about. So, yeah. I hope you've all enjoyed this video a little. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.